Alright guys, today we are going to be talking about the $750 Chris Reeve & Kosi Sabenza debacle. Now on my channel, I did a video not so long ago talking about the $750 Chris Reeve & Kosi slash Sabenza and how due to recent price changes, the, in, the prices of these knives are increasing. Now, I got a lot of outraged comments about this, saying that I was a complete fool, didn't know what I was talking about. So today we are going to walk through the pricing changes of Chris Reeve and go over what Chris Reeve knives cost 750 or what it takes to get an Incosi or Sabenza to that price point, as well as kind of going over a little bit of where I was wrong and where I wasn't wrong. So to start off, um, it is, so to start off, I will uh, kind of apologize in the way that when the price updates and changes happened to Chris Reeve knives, it was not the clearest, um, it wasn't the clearest price change. And so there were a lot of figures thrown around and ultimately what ended up being a $50 price bump looked far higher um, in certain specifications and options. And ultimately there is a way that you can option out a Sabenza or in Kosi on Chris Reeves website that will cost anywhere from 750 to 800 plus dollars. So I will show that here in just a little bit, but ultimately I was not entirely wrong, but it made it seem the articles that I had read from um, Chris Reeve themselves had made it seem like these two knives were specifically going up in price that much. So that's kind of the misunderstanding, not all of their knives, and it has to be specific options that bring those price points up to that level. It's not like you're going to buy a plain Jane Micarta in Kosi that's going to cost you $750. So full disclaimer, I was incorrect in that regard, but there definitely is some truth to it. So yeah. So yeah, that is the ultimate kind of um, point on that. And I think the biggest thing that I had an issue with that I failed to articulate in the overall conversation was that from the newsletters, from the publications by Chris Reeve, at least in my opinion, and once again, it's important to say my opinion, it appeared that Chris Reeve was increasing these prices on previously placed orders and on future orders. And there wasn't any real desire to work with people, accommodate people. There wasn't any real warning or notice to this outside of this, you know, like warning that, hey, we're doing this right now and this is the price changes effective immediately, essentially. And so they were kind of like, screw you to their longtime and potential loyal customers. Now, once again, that's the way it seemed to me and to a few of my other knife um, friends and community members, that's what it appeared like to me. And so that's what pressed me to make the video in the first place. Now for those loyalists of Chris Reeve, they may have seen it differently and it may not have been as large of an issue, but for me, that's what it looked like. All right, so now we are on the Chris Reeve website here. This is their custom order form. If you want to order a knife custom through them, this is where you have to go. Now, they no longer make the 21, the Sabenza 21, but they do make the 31. So we're going to try to spec out a 31 as close to the 21 as possible. So obviously choosing the Sabenza 31, of course, mine is a micarta inlay. So we're gonna go with the micarta inlay. And of course, this is a large, so we're gonna choose the large. So already that's a $600 knife. Now, of course, it was primarily a $50 increase, and that $50 increase was at least supposedly by uh, Chris Reeve due to the fact that they are going from S45VN and S35VN up to CPM Magna Cut. So that's what they say the $50 increase is about. Now, where I was mistaken is primarily in blade finish. If you do choose a blade finish of polished like this, as you can see, you will be left with a $150 option. Now, of course, you could get it even more expensive if you chose a handle finish of glass blasted and if you chose dual thumb lugs <clears throat> and if you choose dual thumb lugs of course that brings it up to eight hundred and thirty dollars so actually even more than i originally stated but once again that primarily is predicated on the very high cost of a polished blade and that's kind of where i got it wrong so the new price increase really is a 50 percent increase on the base i believe i'm not sure what 
if any of these options got increased in price. That part was not very clearly articulated by Chris Reeve. They really only talked about the base price of all their knives going up by 50%, or sorry, by $50, not percent. But um, yeah, so essentially going through their custom order here, you can see how you could arrive at an $830 um, Sabenza 31. And this isn't a Damascus version. This would be the ultimately CPM Magna Cut version of this knife, but really not much different. Uh, you know, you're still gonna have the same titanium handles, not carbon fiber. They will be micarta inlays like this, but you're gonna have that CPM Magna Cut blade. And of course, it's gonna be a drop point, not the Tonto version but um, ultimately it's going to be this blade. Um, it's not really gonna be anything, you know, much more special than a normal uh, Sebenza outside of the finishing options. And those finishing options, like I said, with the glass blasted handle and polished blade is what would bring it up to that over $800. Now, unfortunately with the Nkosi, I was a bit wrong on this one because they do not offer, at least at this time, a polished option for the blade. So the most you could get one of these is I think like around 630 if you chose some different options or I think 650 if you chose the glass blasted handle. So you could make this a little bit more expensive but by and large because the polished blade is not an option. Like I was saying the Nkosi doesn't have quite the same blade options or finish options so it cannot get quite as expensive as the Sebenza. However I did want to showcase how the Sebenza, primarily the 31, um, can get as as expensive as I originally stated with a reaching prices of 750 or more dollars with different um, finishing options. So once again, those finishing options are not changes to the blade steel or handle materials. They stay the same. So there's really no um, performance upgrades, even though there's a substantial price increase, nearly twice the price. So yeah, just thought it would be an interesting follow-up video and wanted to kind of clarify that point on the price increase on the Sebenza and in Kosi as a whole and the parts that I got wrong and clarify that point. Um, there were a lot of people giving me feedback and saying that I was just flat out wrong and it's not necessarily true. I wasn't completely wrong but I also wasn't completely right. So I wanted to clear that up and uh, explain the differences between the differences between these two models and the price increases and changes. Hopefully this was a little bit more um, Hopefully this was a little better in clarity. And once again, too, I was working with the information that I had from Chris Reeve. Chris Reeve did not necessarily make this um, price increase intrinsically obvious or you know apparently obvious to how all of the prices would be going up or changing in their different models across the lineup. So anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.